previously in my last vlog to Japan. Well, I'm outside of the Imperial um, Palace right now and I'm at the Nijubashi Bridge. It's a really pretty bridge. Really pretty. But it's closed. I swear to you guys, I went on the internet and I checked and it didn't say anything about it being closed. At least not that I saw. And there are other people here saying that they went on the internet too and they even have a booking for today. So, yeah, I'll just have to enjoy it from afar. Alright guys, we're starting the tour. We made it! So this area is open. So, super duper cool. When I can get some good shots, I'll get them, but I would like to learn as much as I can. I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, we need to find our language group. I'm gonna look for English. They do have multiple languages such as Spanish, Spanish, <laughs> French. They also have Chinese and I believe they have either German or Italian so I think this may be the English one just judging based off the size but I can't seem to see the actual sign oh wow it's a huge one sorry we, we can proceed a little bit further okay so building in front of us is the Fujimi Yagura which means the Mount Fuji viewing tower. So Mount Fuji was visible from there at that time. But to enjoy the spectacular sight of fireworks from there too. Again, not anymore. <laughs> and this tower stands at the southern eastern corner of the main castle area. The wall still remains intact after hundreds of years That building collapsed during the Great Kanto earthquake in 1923. So this building, now you see, was completed in 1935. The roof of the building is made by uh, copper, turning nice green by oxidization. The third floor of this building was used as the temporary palace because the main palace was burned down during the air rays of the World War II. And that's, that was very uh, popular for the Japanese people. It was always broadcasted on TV. And one day my father told me that he wanted to come here one time, at least one time in his lifetime. So my parents, my family, my sister's family, and my brother's family, about 14 people of relatives, came here early in the morning, lined up out there, and finally came here and waved to the emperor. And that was a very good memory. And I never thought I'd be working here at that time. People are not able to build a single bridge.
Instagram, they definitely, with no exception, if the damage is small, you just need to patch them. And about 400 meters. All right, I'm all finished with the Imperial Palace tour and it was absolutely amazing. It was a free walking tour, so I'd 100% recommend that you try it out. If you can go online and pre-book your tickets, then that's even better. We were just fortunate enough to come on a day that was really, really cold and raining. So it wasn't as packed, but I can imagine it does get pretty, pretty packed. We did see a lot and we learned a lot. I'm obsessed with Japan in a very normal way, but I did take um, Asian history and we did focus a lot on Japan, China, and Korea. So for some of the Japanese history that she was telling us about, like the shogunate, the Edo um, period, Tokugawa Ieyasu, um, just like some of the wars and the lack of wars in Japan, I did learn a lot about those. So it was really nice to hear familiar things. Uh, I'm at the foot of the train station. I'm actually about to go in and see where I can head to next. I'm really, really hungry and I'm ready to try some ramen, especially with it being so cold. All right, bye. It's super empty, which I'm actually surprised about. Normally, like there's so many people leaving, but can't complain, can't complain. And my makeup is starting to settle in. At first I was like, girl, you look crazy. But no, it's starting to settle in. That was just so great. I met someone, uh, she's from Canada. Originally her background is from um, China, but she is from Canada and she lives in New York. And she was so nice. We may meet up along with the people that I met on the plane and go to karaoke tonight. So I really, really hope that goes through. All right, I'm going to head on the train now and I'll see you guys. Guys, that was one of the most delicious ramen I've ever had and my first bowl of ramen in Japan. So I got the tonkatsu ramen and it was so delicious and warm and flavorful and yeah, I mean, as you can see, I got extra noodles. So it was just so good. I feel so full. I feel warm on the inside. I feel like I could go to sleep. It's so good. I have no idea where I want to head to next. I've knocked out a lot of the things on my list in just two and a half days, which is actually crazy. It's 2.49 now. I think I'm gonna head back 
to the Airbnb so I can uh, take a nap and then wake up probably around five or six and then go out tonight. I wanna really go and see the nightlife. I've been getting in pretty early, which I don't mind, um, but I'd love to go and see the nightlife, especially for my last night at this first Airbnb because I will be heading to another Airbnb tomorrow afternoon. So we're heading back now to uh, Minato. Bye bye. I don't know what that is, but it caught my attention. So we're gonna walk up all those flights of stairs to see. It looks like very beautiful. <laughs> Give me five minutes. But it looks Chinese. It looks like a Chinese temple. So we'll, we'll, I'll find out more information about it and then I'll be right back. I want to see if I got a good um Oh, oh cool. Hold on. Omikuji. I want to see I want to see if I got a good Omikuji. A good fortune. Let's see. This one says I have no idea what it says. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ask. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Alrighty, I'm all done with the temple. So it's a Shinto shrine. It's called the Kanda Myoji. It was really nice, really beautiful. I didn't really see it on the list of like, you know, popular shrines and temples to visit, but that one is definitely worth it. I will leave it down in the description box with a Google map pin. It was very, very beautiful. They have an information desk, the souvenir shop. It was just nice. And the employees were super duper friendly and so cute there were ladies wearing kimonos and they were just so beautiful and smiling so yeah now i'm gonna actually head home i think that was a great diversion from my schedule and well worth the the hike up this hill <laughs> i feel like i could eat another bowl of ramen make sure you like comment share and subscribe for more bye Bar station right now and I was just in the electronic district which is so cool and I'd love to come back at night to see all the lights now you know I'm getting on the train so I'm gonna have to be very quiet shining and it actually looks pretty nice outside it's still cold don't be fooled all right while well, i got you guys here i know this lighting issue is not the best oh there go the cloud perfect um i got some 
grapes from a supermarket. I believe it was called Peacock, which I thought was interesting. And then I also got the very popular Japanese um, strawberries. And they match my lip, but how cute. It smells heavenly, like it smells fresh. And this was really, really affordable. This was literally like a hundred and something yen, which is less than $2. It's no more than three. So for all the strawberries that you would be paying like four, four or five dollars for. Whew, really nice. And then I went to 7-Eleven. So this is what I got. I got a ice cream cone because child, I got a sweet tooth right now and I really need some sugar or something even though I plan to take a nap so I can go out later tonight so I don't know why I'm eating all these sweet stuff I'm still gonna go to sleep though I'm kind of tired I got this chocolate ganache I hope you can see and that the light isn't really bad it's a chocolate ganache then I got this tiramisu mousse I'm really excited to try this. It looks so good. I got one more of these. <laughs> I'm addicted. I think when I'm coming back, the morning of or the afternoon I leave, I'm buying like 15 of these. 15 of them, literally. I think they can survive the flight. And then I got this brownie. Everything came up to 1,178 yen. Except for the grapes and the strawberries. This is about, what, 11, 12 dollars for all of the sweet stuff and the rice cake. So I can't complain. And he gave me several spoons. How nice. Alright guys, again, sorry about the lighting issue. I'm going to go enjoy myself and watch Halo. Uh, season 2 is out and episode 5 is out. And some drama going on in the show and it's getting really good. I think we've reached the climax of the um, series. Because I don't think it's going to get any better than the previous episode and this episode. Because it was just so good but you know what let me test out this strawberry oh my god it's so cute look at it it's the cutest i don't know everything about japan is just so cute and the leaves aren't even you know how like i'm i'm not even gonna say it you know what i'll share so next time you look you'll see what i'm talking about when you buy strawberries in the states and even strawberries in jamaica obviously because it's coming from not Jamaica because we don't have, well not to my knowledge, a mass production of strawberries to sell at that quantity. We have some tiny strawberries but I'm, I'm rambling. But if you look at the leaves, them dry up like, them dry up when you see them in the States. I guess because they're coming from so far when you buy them in places like New York. But it's so soft, like I'm trying to fold it. So I personally like to hold my strawberry like this and eat um but they won't even fold it's so soft and it just keeps like going back down am i being biased i think i love this country so much okay mm. oh my god Mm. too bad I can't bring fruits back to the US this is so nice it's the perfect sweetness something so mm. just like how I don't, don't think I'm lying you know how 
you have different kinds of mango like in Jamaica you'll have your um, East Indian mango you have your Julie mango you have your stringy you have blackie you have so many different kinds of mangoes that's the same for strawberries and I don't know what I think what do they call it I don't know what they call it but I don't know what kind of strawberry this one is but it just does not taste like the ones you get in America Okay. Bye bye. Of course. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. After I find something to get one. Ooh, get me my apple. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Watch this. Watch this. Ooh. Good night. I'm about to head out to go experience some of the nightlife in Tokyo. But I have to leave now because the trains do stop running at 12 and if I'm not back to where I need to be by at least 11.30, 11.45 to get on the last train, I will be stuck until 5 a.m. and we don't want that so I will see you guys on the road and then I'll explain where I'm heading for the night. Alright guys, I made it to my destination. It's Omoide Yokocho and I'm right in front of the sign. I'll show you it in a minute. But I just want to tell you the story of how I got lost in Shinjuku Station and this man from South Africa, he looked over at me. He was like, um, are you lost? I'm like, yeah, I am. So he asked me where I was going and I told him the Uniqlo, which is literally right, right there because I didn't know how to explain to him that this is where I was going. So he brought me here and it was so nice. So yeah, let's head on in now. I have about an hour and 30 minutes until I have to catch my last train. So let's go. So this lane is actually also called Memory Lane and you'll find a bunch of vendors along each side of the road from food vendors to little souvenir shops. I think it's really, really cool. Let's go! Student, you are student? I, I graduated. Graduate. Graduate. You are a student? Yeah, no. Uh, I graduated. Mm. Yeah, yes. <laughs> 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 The amount of random people I've met on this trip is so crazy. So I accidentally bumped into this guy when I was taking a video 
of the entrance of um, the street. So, <sighs> we ended up crossing paths a couple times. And, you know, I was like, you know, you're familiar with this area. Which one of these shops do you recommend? And so we ended up grabbing dinner and that was just so much fun. The next thing is that the train was so loud. I was like, what's going on? I was shocked. Normally it's really quiet, but I wonder if because it's the end of the night and either people have been drinking or the crowd is just younger, but it was really loud. I thought that was, that was something interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. It's almost time for me to check out and it's actually such a beautiful day outside it feels more like spring than winter so I can't complain I cannot complain I've packed up my bags oh I'm forgetting a jacket I need to go put that in my suitcase ASAP I'm trying to figure out how I want to wear my rings today so I don't know guys I've done so much in the past three days that I feel like I don't know what to do I think I want to do a day trip but I do have to come back and collect my bags in time for me to check in to my next Airbnb which I believe I said it yesterday it's in the same community just not this exact area but the same suburb I really like it over here. It was very central, very nice. We'll see what the next Airbnb holds. With that being said, I have an hour to check out. I'm going to go get rid of the trash. With this Airbnb, and I think with a lot of them in Japan, like nobody wants to be going through your trash. And they have a very unique trash system where it's very, very specific. So they ask that you, like, they provide everything and they show you the directions, but they ask that you take the trash out because, like I said, they have a very unique system. So you have, like, burnable items and non-burnable items and recyclable items. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Some people may not want to do that. If that's not your cup of tea, then get a hotel. But, yeah. I don't want anybody going through my trash either to see what's burnable and what's not so I'd rather just take it out myself I have my breakfast right here the strawberries and grapes from yesterday so I'm gonna finish that up leave my bag at the front desk and go explore a little bit more of Tokyo bye everything that I'm gonna drag around town <laughs> it's not that bad actually it's really not and then this bag goes inside of this one so it's only three three things it's such a nice day I mean it's cold like I said it just feels like spring it's very bearable this is a great walking weather I feel so sad checking out of the Airbnb. You know in the reality shows when um, somebody's leaving the house? That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. Like it's my time to go home. I gotta leave the house. Everybody's like, bye. And crying. That's what it felt like. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Ooh, great shot of Tokyo Tower.
found a Jamaica and Japan pin and I'm getting it it's so cute and then Kai like this pen I was showing her I'm like this is so funny so she she wanted Okay, so I back up on the store by accident. I don't even know what it's called, but I love the store now. This would be a kid's dream. What? This is my dream. This is crazy. So this is the store I just left, which is called Hakushin Kan Toy Park in Ginza. That's Ginza 8. So everything that I got, I spent $80 tax free. And I got a lot of stuff. I only have two more people that I need to buy things for. And then, yeah, and then I'm done shopping for everybody else. I got myself some little stuff. Like, let me show you. Corn purse. I think it's so cute and it's cherry blossoms, considering that it was a bit too cold when I came for me to see any cherry blossoms. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, upon leaving i'm gonna get just some snacks and some candy everything else i'm pretty much good on because i will be back We are back on the road. There's some stuff that I saw in Zara that I think are super duper cute. But I'm gonna walk around a little bit more in the area. And then if I don't see anything anywhere else, I'll come back and I'll get a couple stuff from Zara. But the traffic is starting to pick up here. There's a lot more people. It is a Saturday morning. So just like anywhere else in the world, the weekend is the best time to shop with the crowd. <laughs> I really need to move to Japan, period, point blank. Like, how can I move here? Somebody please let me know. What can I do? Do I need to apply for Japan Airlines or something? Like, how, how do I, how do I live here? Oh, Ginza 6, that's where I need to go. But for now, I'm gonna go to Uniqlo first. Okay guys, so I just saw Ginza 6, the roof garden, and it looks so pretty. Main word of this vlog is pretty, but it really does. So I'm gonna cross the street and head over there now. But what's also cool, cool is on this 12th floor of Unico in Ginza, they have a coffee shop area where you can kind of sit and drink Unico coffee. On the first floor, they have a flower shop. And now tell me that's not really innovative and just next level. I really like this store. Only thing is, personally, I don't see anything that I would want. I'm going to look around on this floor. This floor is pretty unique as well. So maybe I'll find a gift that I can get for someone or myself. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, guys, we are in Ginza 6. And when I tell you, no pricing in here. I mean, there's Van Cleef, there's Rolex, there's Lueve, there's YSL, there's so many brands, okay? It's giving rich, expensive, blow it all. Blow it all. I do love it though. We're coming, we're coming back here, you know? I feel like we're coming back here in our 30s. I'm still in my mid-20s, my, my late mid-20s, guys. So, it's nice to walk around and see that, yeah, we're coming back here. We're calling it down in God's name, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm just not going to step in, though. I'm not going to do that to myself. Not today. So I'll keep going up until we get to the roof. To check out this bookstore to see if there's anything that I can pick up. Because you guys know I've been obsessed with books lately, right? So let's see what they have. installation in the bookstore and it's just breathtaking. I just bought some books and I'm on top of Ginza 6 in the roof garden and it's pretty. Can you guess what word I was going to use? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. The nature is, is just beautiful. And I think there's a clear shot of um, at least the top bit of Tokyo Tower on the left side. So I'm going to do a little walk around and yeah it was just so nice it's so serene i should have got some food so i could eat it up here it's really pretty Hey B squad, I'm at the new Airbnb. It's been a couple hours, a couple frustrating hours from my last talk to you guys. But it took me a while to find this Airbnb. I was so upset. I was so flustered because the map that they have in Airbnb that you can click, like get directions, was bringing me to the wrong directions. So much so that I eventually asked for help from um, one of the employees. And when he pulled it up on the map, he was just trying to describe to me where the same pin was showing me. But then I'm just like, okay, this is still not right. I'm trying to message the host and they haven't responded back yet. They eventually did respond. Not very helpful, but they did respond. But this um, other man saw me and he was, uh, I don't know what, he was wearing a uniform that I saw a couple people like wear. But I don't know what his role was. I don't think he's like a garbage man or something, but he was pushing something. Like it was just so, it was so interesting because I saw several of them in different areas but anyways so he was like 
he basically like do you need help he mind you he was not speaking any english me and him did not i didn't speak any japanese to him he didn't speak any english to me he was just he just looked at me he was like do you need help basically and i was like yeah so i ch i showed him on the map like where i was trying to go and we were looking at the address looking at the airbnb at this point this man know exactly where i live like he know exactly where i am but it's so secure like the front the front gate y you need a code to get in and then you need a code to get into the unit and there's so many units um in the building even though it's a very compact building um so we were looking back and forth looking back and forth he was like just my day could i say he pulled out his phone called his friend he was reading the address looking at the address in the google and he was like yeah the address keeps coming up wrong you need to put this this like this here and put that there and eventually he finally helped me find the airbnb um uh, it was a 13 minute walk from where i was and with the suitcase it's not too bad like a six minute walk is not bad but 13 minutes like an extra six minutes was actually i was tired i was tired i was flustered and it was cold if it was a warm day or even like a, a 60s low 70s kind of day it would have been fine but it was literally like in the 40s 30s it was cold outside so it was frustrating but we made it and the airbnb for the most part is really nice i'm just gonna whip y'all around so y'all could see it's the kitchen and right in front of me is the living room right behind me is the bedroom and the bathroom and um washing machine is in this area over here uh maybe tomorrow um i'll do a tour the only thing is it's on the ground floor there's so much lighting but no privacy so i'll do a tour tomorrow and show you in a better lighting what it looks like now i'm really hungry there is this um is it tonkatsu is that what i wanted there's this tonkatsu place not too far i think it's like a 20 minute walk which i don't mind and i'm looking real cute i got my little girls out but not really because i'm about to zip this all the way up and throw my jacket on because like i said it's cold i just wanted to look cute it's a f saturday night and i wanted to go out so if i'm walking and i see a bar ish or a restaurant that just catch my attention i'm just gonna go in i'm just going because i passed a restaurant that i wanted to try yesterday and i was telling you guys about it we ended up seeing the shrine it's in that same area as the restaurant but the restaurant they had tablets so you weren't speaking to anybody from what i saw outside looking in they had tablets at each section so i thought that was so cool and i wanted to try out that and see that experience but i had a restaurant in mind that i wanted to go to so this time i'm gonna do a restaurant hop anything i see and i'm interested in we're going to stop and go stop and go so I say that now but we'll see how it actually goes <laughs> anyways it's about five minutes that I've been rambling on to you guys I'm not gonna lie the lighting in here looks really nice and uh, yeah see you on the road so I'm at the Pungi Hills is basically a mall, and the restaurant that I'm looking for is here somewhere. There's a lot of Italian inspired restaurants here, but for some reason, I can't find it, and my fingers are freezing. I don't know what the heck, like, I don't know. Alright, I think I've made it. I think. A lot of these places are so empty right now. But there's so many choices to choose from. Okay, I've definitely made it. 
I just don't know which one of these locations are the specific store that I'm looking for. But, as you can see, I'm So I for sure will be back but the fact that I thought that I was gonna do a, a food crawl go around to different places yeah no I'm full I'm so full that I could barely even walk um, I'm about to go back to the Airbnb and go to sleep that was so 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 good <sighs> I don't even know I could fall asleep right now that was delicious and if I ever go to New York, they would try to charge me $80. I think I paid 20 something, 20 something dollars a while ago. And the service was immaculate. The um, server could tell that I was not familiar with a lot of stuff. So he literally like put everything where it was supposed to go put the sauces where they were supposed to go in the little containers explained to me what to do he was so nice and we got I believe it was a green tea or oolong it could have been oolong at the end of the meal everyone got that you got extra rice extra cabbage for free <sighs> it was so good wow all right, I'm done raving. I'm gonna head back to the Airbnb now. And I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. So I didn't get the chance to film the room tour. I'm just gonna save that for whenever I can. So whenever you see it, that's when you see it. But I am all ready and I'm heading outside of Tokyo. It's about a 40 minute train ride or 40 minute journey outside of Tokyo. I'm gonna go meet my friend from university and I brought some snacks, some Jamaican snacks for her and um, like a Jamaican storybook for her baby. Tamak Plaza and my friend she just parked so she's gonna meet me inside I'm not sure which gate I should go to I just texted her but she didn't see it either I go to the central gate or the east gate or I don't know which one I don't want to exit on the other side of the building and she's on the next side you know um, yeah so I accidentally it, it's funny I accidentally got on the wrong train the train that I got on was the local one because I was so early I just jumped on the first trains I could see so 
I was still going the right way. I was still gonna obviously get to my stop but we just stopped everywhere along the way instead of it only being five stops uh, but it was nice i got to see the different areas along my way to tama plaza and there's some really pretty um towns i would really like to explore more of tokyo more of just all of japan so this is gonna be my new destination there's a flight attendant that i worked with she may watch this video if you do get this far hey girl i'll be watching your tiktok but she loves going to south korea and she goes to south korea all the time like all the time i feel like every time i look at her tiktok she's in south korea again but she also lives on the west coast so it's pretty easier to get to it than me living on the east coast but trust and believe whenever i get a line if i can like obviously i want to go to jamaica as often as i can as well but whenever i can i'm coming back to tokyo i'm coming back to japan like i'm gonna explore a new area of japan every time i get a chance so ah, she just messaged me i'll be right back Hurry, David! Hurry! Bye-bye! David! David! Pa! <laughs> guys we're all done with the yakuniku and it was so delicious <laughs> David's walking and guys kids all over the world are the same they're so funny <laughs> and crazy and friendly so that's exactly how he is it reminds me of Jackson. Jackson is my um, friend's son. So he... Yeah, it's very similar. <laughs> Crazy. Mm -hmm. He's in Jamaica. Oh my God. But yeah, so... We're gonna head and look at some cherry blossoms now. So, see ya. Included in the entrance place. They have the very loud or small. Oh, like turn the volume down. Oh, is yeah. it? Hello? No. Tap tap. He was touching tap, PCM, tap. so. Tap tap. Wow, you can hear the echo. David. <laughs> I like this one. It makes me sound like I can sing. How about? Let's start with. I don't uh -oh. Which song do you I just thought Beyonce would be a fun choice. <laughs> there Beyonce. Beyonce. Hello. Beyonce oh, okay. Which Beyonce song? Wanna sing with me? Yeah? Okay, let's see. Don't worry. Hi, 
I almost jumped on the wrong train again which like I said it's not entirely wrong it's just the local train which stops at every single stop but I jumped off with just enough time to ask someone if the express is on this side or that side and she said this is the express side so that's not the right train to be on if you want to go straight to your uh, location but today was so amazing I didn't vlog a lot obviously but I'm so glad I could spend a day with my friend and I I haven't seen her from university from 2017 I have not seen her and I just figured like I'm in Japan I'm gonna come look for my friend <laughs> so it was so amazing her mom made me dinner delicious like I had to take a picture of what she was using to cook because it was so good and her dad was nice and obviously baby David is just so cute and I've said it before reminds me of Jackson and how friendly and energetic but crazy <laughs> it was so much fun and like I could almost cry because today just felt so much more than being a tourist because you know when you go somewhere you're enjoying all these locations but you enjoy them by yourself and it was nice to see like a familiar or a familial I don't know how to describe it but it just felt like part of the family and yeah I could keep going on and on and on and on and on but today was by far like one of the best experiences from my trip <sighs> anyways <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm absolutely freezing, so I'm going to put my headphones in and my gloves on to try to warm up my body. <sighs> okay, bye guys. I'll see you when I get back to the Airbnb. Good morning, guys. Welcome again. <laughs> We're gonna start off the tour of the Airbnb in the Gangkan. This is where you put your shoes and then you step into your house slippers. So this is the Gangkan. My Airbnb is on the first floor. And when you step in, you step directly into the kitchen slash living room area, which is not bad. It's a very big and spacious Airbnb. The only thing is there's not that much privacy but I have a remedy to that and I'll save it for the end of the video well the end of this um, room tour part but yeah so you have a nice um, living room table and a decent sized TV and a decent sized couch the selling point of the Airbnb for me was definitely the red kitchen Sorry, my phone's ringing. Give me one second. So like I was saying, the kitchen part really sold me. The red interior, the red cupboards, just, it really pops in the room. Because as you can see, for the most part, the room is all white. Now let's head on over. It is a full service kitchen with a stove. Have all of the pots and pans and spoons and cups that you will need all of the liquids and sponge what i like about most airbnbs here is that they give you all of that stuff which you know most airbnbs across the world definitely give you that too have a fridge freezer and regular fridge you have a toaster oven slash microwave and a teapot the unit does have two air conditioning systems that also has heaters which is nice because it got really, really cold last night and I really needed the heat. Now you have this dining table with a set of four chairs. Really nice. And then you have the bedroom area. Don't mind my suitcase. I just don't want to unpack again from the first Airbnb, so I just left them open. This is what I'm telling you guys about privacy. There isn't much. There's this truck right here. Um, they can see you right in just as much as you can see out. They can see right into the Airbnb. But the lighting is perfect. So I think it would be great if they get the peel on stickers that gives you privacy from outside looking in. But inside looking out, you can see everything and still get a lot of lighting. 
I don't know. I think I may drop a comment down below and say that would be a great recommendation because when the window blinds aren't up, the room is pretty dark and I have to turn on all the lights, which could be another way for them to save on electricity costs. So you have a very large closet, two sliding doors, one is open. You can just see how much space is on one side. The other side has just as much space. You definitely do get extra towels and washcloth, but there's also this, I guess it's almost like a futon type thing, but you can set up another bed if you have extra guests. Now the bed is really comfy. To me that is really, really comfy and it does the job. It's right under the AC and heater. So in the summer, if you need cool air, it's going to blow right on you. And if in the winter, like I did last night with the hot air, perfect. Now we're heading into the bathroom. I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see. It is a very large bathroom. The toilet is a separate area from the shower. Not too bad, which is right here. This whole bathroom, this whole room is the shower room. And then they have a tub. I do have my hair cap here because I want to make sure that my hair stays fresh all throughout the trip. So personally, I like it. I can't complain. The toilet seat is heated. Guys, if I don't get a heated bidet in my house in the future, something wrong with me. Because I could literally spend an extra 20 minutes because you know you don't already sit on the toilet for a long time just doing nothing scrolling on your phone the fact that it's heated makes me sit even longer on here <laughs> it's crazy but i like that and my friend was telling me that it's pretty normal for all japanese toilets to have heated seats you have extra storage in here which they just put extra um tissue and um toilet paper as well as cleaning supplies now this is the vanity area, my trusted bag that I always travel with. It's linked in my Amazon storefront. And these mirrors, hey guys, it's me, have um storage as well. Opens up like this. Not gonna lie, you do have a lot of storage in this Airbnb, especially if you come for like a longer term stay, like maybe you're staying for a month and you stay here. It's, it's a full apartment. There is a washing machine. They did provide us with um, laundry detergent. It is nice of them. The other Airbnb provided that as well. So I, I'm grateful. I just didn't wash anything, but like I said, if you're staying for a longer time, then that may be your cup of tea. There is also a balcony. And it opens right out. To the street so it's nice really really nice in the summertime i bet this would be absolutely perfect and that's really it we're gonna head out on the town now today's my last full day in tokyo i'm gonna try to get some sushi some more ramen do a little bit more sightseeing and some more shopping Tomorrow we're gonna head to Narita. I'm leaving from that airport and it'll be nice just to see a little bit more of the Japan area that's not the metropolitan city of Tokyo. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. I really like it out here. I like the lighting. Like I said, not much privacy. It is, for the most part, a very quiet neighborhood. Like. When I came back last night, I didn't hear a thing. Not a thing. And the train is within walking distance, which is also really great. That's it. Good morning guys, today is my last full day in Tokyo 
I'm all dressed and ready to go. I have He a Shrine in my Google Maps and it's a 22 minute walk. Like I've been saying for the last four days, if I see anywhere I can stop and eat, I'm gonna ask Christ, I'm just a stop and then eat. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm also super duper sad because like I said, it's my last day and I don't want to leave, but it is what it is. <laughs> Tomorrow we are heading um, to Narita and we're going to be leaving from the Narita International Airport. So that's going to take me about an hour and 30 minutes to get to from my location. And on top of that, I'm going to leave really early so I can drop off my bag and just probably take a train outside of the metropolitan area of Narita and explore a little bit considering that it is almost two hours outside of tokyo i'd like to see the difference in just culture in that area and the buildings and you know just the way of life and the sun is shining in my face i'm trying to remember what else i had to say but i think that's really it my time here was just amazing i can't begin to describe how fulfilled i feel and also knowing that I will be back because I have to go explore Kyoto. I have to go explore um, Okinawa, Osaka. I also want to even come back to Tokyo, spend a couple days again and go outside again and go to Kamakura and just um, so many places. Like it's just never ending. I would love to go to a lot of places in Japan. So seven days is definitely not enough, but yeah man yeah let's go <laughs> make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you at the next stop <laughs> bye i got a little 7-eleven breakfast stuff that i have not tried yet i got this caramel latte hopefully it's good i also got this fried rice And I got a egg and tuna sandwich. If I can want to get it out the bag. <laughs> this is what it looks like. The shrink. like the sandwiches that you have at sports day you know in Jamaica when you use the hard dough bread I make the little small square sandwiches this is exactly what it tastes like it's the egg I'm gonna be so jealous of myself when I'm editing this The egg um, fried rice. Two days later. Mm. Ah, great breakfast. Great breakfast. Now we're ready to really walk out the day. <laughs> So what I thought was just a garden, it's actually part of a, a shrine. So now I'm going to explore it because that's really, really nice. As you saw, I washed my hands off to show respect before entering the shrine. Oh my god, they have Tory gates here too. Huh. See? 
I was going all the way to Hia Shrine because I wanted to see the red Tory gates and they have them here as well. Amazing. That's what going off the beaten path gets you. So these are Emma Votive tablets. So it says Emma or Ima is a Votive tablet offered to Jinja with your wish. You tie them on as you make your wish. There's a lot of wishes here guys. I hope they come true. I probably should have said this earlier, but I 100% recommend you try the 7-Eleven ATM. 100% recommend you do that. Instead of withdrawing money, bring your card. If you have to call your bank and let them know that you'll be out of the country, bring your card. And withdraw money from the 7-Eleven ATM because you're going to save so much and get a lot more for your money. I really should have said this earlier in the vlog, but hey, <laughs> you know it now. I'm gonna also leave it in the description. So guys, please check the description boxes, not just for my video, but for all YouTube videos you watch because 90% of the time, we put a lot of information, a lot of links in the description box. So for your own benefit, check that out. Anywho, I'm 13 minutes away from Hie Shrine and I'm just really enjoying the area. So right now I am in Akasaka and it's very calm, very quiet, not as busy as the other areas, but still there's a lot to do. Found Hie Shrine, I'm pretty close to it. And on top of that, I also found a really nice sushi space. I'm gonna walk back to that. It looks so good and it was empty and it was lunchtime. So that means the price is a little bit cheaper. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, like I said, I'm not too far from here Shrine. So I'm gonna check that out first and then I'm gonna come back for some sushi. Hey, All finished. That was an amazing experience. To my right, it seems like they're doing some construction on one of the buildings. But that was amazing. It was really nice to stand and just observe. I am literally a student of history. I love history of all kinds from all over the world. I feel like we're in a time period and I'm of a generation where I'm understanding of multiple cultures, multiple countries, different histories. It's just amazing, you know? And I feel like you're doing yourself, uh, what is it called? Unjustice? I don't know the right word. A disservice if 
you can't be accepting of other people and their cultures i'm not saying you should adopt it and forget about your own whatever your own may be but to be accepting is just to give respect to someone else's culture um to understand that not everyone in the same not everyone is the same that everyone across the world has grown up with different things that they learn to be true so yeah you don't have to adopt something as your own but you can respect it you know yeah so i think that's nice i think that's nice i really love learning about stuff so this is also interesting to me when i go back home i'm probably gonna try and do some research and see the origins of a lot of the temples that i went to a lot of the temples and shrines that i went to so i like akasaka it's a nice nice area really like it now i'm gonna go get some sushi oh my god i'm gonna get some sushi and i was thinking to myself when i was walking over here pause put a pin on that the sun feels so good right here i i, I could just stand here all day it feels amazing it feels like summer right here <laughs> um i was thinking of how i've always seen takoyaki which is like i don't want to call it a cake because i don't know if it's sweet like cake but it's like a dough um and there's octopus in the middle like little octopus cuts in the middle covered by dough and it's a ball i'll try to pop it up on the screen so you can see what the inside and outside looks like i've always wanted to try it ever since i saw it in anime and in some japanese movies that i watched like a long time ago i was like i have to try that on my chest and now it's my second to last day here and i realized i haven't tried takoyaki like what i'm shocked so if one thing i get to accomplish by tomorrow it's takoyaki anywho that was an amazing experience let's go eat some sushi That sushi was really delicious. I recommend it. You saw that it was prepared in front of me and it was just nice. There's a lot of locals in there, a lot of businessmen. It's at Skiji Sushiko in Akasaka and I definitely recommend. It will be in the Google Maps pins and uh, yeah try it out i'm so full i should have counted how many pieces of sushi that was because chow that was delicious and i think i only paid 1800 and something yen for that whole meal now i'm gonna do a little bit more walking around just to get the the energy off from the food i just ate so yeah See ya! <laughs>
I'm here in Harajuku and I'm using this moment as a walking moment. I'm using this day as a walking day. So I walked from Ropongi to Harajuku. I'm gonna go down Takeshita Street and see maybe I've missed out on something that I could buy. I have a good a good amount of money left over from the one I withdrew from 7-Eleven and yeah I'm gonna buy some more food <laughs> as well but also I'm gonna walk to Shinjuku after I walk to Harajuku after I walk to Takashita Street I'm gonna walk to Shinjuku and I'm gonna walk to Shibuya. I'm just using today as a whole day to walk to see what I wouldn't have seen if I had taken the train. So we're two minutes away and yeah, bye. bought um until they were one of these fans it comes with a card and i'll show you what the sample looks like i bought her two of them so this is what they look like you hold on to it and cover your face i thought these were so beautiful so i got her one like this and i got her one like this right here so beautiful from a stationary shop it's perfect let me see now i have one more gift to get somebody and then it's all about me and food <laughs> I just bought my last gift and tell me why it's the cutest store ever they gave me their Instagram QR code card so I'll try to pop it up on the screen oh my god they were so nice it was a little jewelry store and she offered to clean my ring she kept complimenting how cute my rings were and she offered to clean them for me they were just so nice because I was trying to figure out if the person that I was buying the jewelry for if they wore earrings or not and I could not remember because I know they always love playing with my rings Malik I'm talking to you <laughs> Malik always love playing with my um, rings so I was like oh my god getting her a little jewelry would be really cute anywho i'm gonna go over onto the other store because i saw some more interesting places and i will see you guys in a minute Across the street, if he's gonna be able to. Oh. Definitely, definitely a lot more people. Plus, it's the evening hours now, so a lot of people are out of school, off work, so it's the perfect time for the crowd. I'm staying out late tonight because I would really like to see the nightlife, night lights. <laughs> of Tokyo so I'm gonna stay over the Shinjuku Shibuya Harajuku area so when the lights pop on I can get that you know stereotypical night lights look but there's a restaurant down here that I like I'm gonna buy some 
rice cakes and sausage Korean snack. Today I got the rice cakes and sausage, but I got it with cheese this time. It was only a hundred yen more. So I'm not gonna eat this one on camera because this looks pretty crazy and messy. But I'm sure it tastes delicious. BTW. Look at the line. There are some um, black vendors on the streets in Harajuku and they're speaking Japanese. Um, I spoke to a couple of them and they're not from Japan. Uh, one of them is from Ghana actually and he grew up, he said, in New Jersey but now he's in Japan. But he was completely fluent in Japanese and I'm like, well if you're living here, especially for several years, it shouldn't be too hard to learn uh well yeah it was just so interesting hearing you know just seeing them naturally just talk to each other and talk to the uh tourist or customers whatever you may want to call them in japanese so i thought that was kind of cool i was like hmm yeah but they were haggling they were haggling they were trying to get people to come to their store to buy clothes which all of the other vendors do as well. It's just, them just have this extra nice way. You know, some vendors just try pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. They, he was kind of like that. But he was nice. I answered every single one of his questions. I told the truth. Except for when he asked me if I'm here by myself. I was like, no. I got friends here. <laughs> um, but I was like, yeah, anyways, I'm leaving tomorrow. Which is also the truth. <laughs> not trying to apply and worry. yeah never tell anybody you're anywhere by yourself like even if you did a you know your source draws by yourself you're never by yourself God is always with you and God is your friend so yes my friend is here with me where he's at I don't know somewhere talking to somebody else right now um, this is the fourth plane that I've seen land and it's a United plane the American plane should be landing in the next 30 minutes actually if it hasn't already landed because when we came we landed early that is so cool and sad at the same time oh my god I'm so sad because I'm leaving I don't want to leave what can I do to stay here what can I do hey let me think about it let me figure out what I could do to stay here full time <laughs> All right. My last night in Tokyo is coming to a close. I'm quite literally a hundred meters away <laughs> from the Airbnb and uh, I really need to pee. This may be TMI, but I've been counting to a hundred in Japanese to keep my mind off the fact that I have to pee, which is good because I'm getting practice but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i mean i will see you tomorrow in narita so that's gonna be fun gonna get up super early but make sure you like comment share and subscribe 
and I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. Let me know down in the comment section. Good night! It's a little after midnight. Yeah, seven minutes after midnight. And I ran, okay, I walked to the <laughs> Combini and I did a little bit of shopping because I was so hungry and food was on my mind. Every two seconds, I was thinking about something to eat. So I got this pizza bun. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I need to take another bite. Maybe I got the bite where it's just nothing. Like, you know, when you bite into a piece of patty, I ain't not taste the beef and the cheese yet. You just bite like, you know, piece of crust. I feel like that's what's going on right now. So tomorrow I'll update you on how it really tastes. I got some vitamin C. I believe this is just some orange juice. Juice. That's literally what it says. I, I don't know this kanji. Well, I feel like I know this kanji, but I can't remember. I don't think that's kanji. Anywho, this is not a lesson. <laughs> I got some orange juice because I need it because I feel like I'm getting sick. And since I have that long flight tomorrow, I really just want to prepare myself from now. I got these white peaches. They look absolutely delicious. I got this um, salmon and sesame snack. <laughs> and this tomago. It's egg yolk and soy sauce and broth inside of the rice i also got some water because i haven't been drinking enough of that but i went to 7-eleven and i went to lawson's which they're so close to each other there's so many 7-eleven so many lawson's so many family marts it, it is crazy i don't know how all of these stores survive when on every street there's one of these stores somewhere <laughs> Anywho, I will see y'all in the morning. Have an amazing night. Bye.